I think at this point, we all know that we need water to survive. At least, I hope you do. Well, it turns out that 75% of Americans do not drink enough water. And I may or may not be a part of that statistic. So, after reading some of the benefits, improved energy, improves skin complexion, improved digestion, and reduced bloating. I knew this was something I could not pass up. So, today, I set out on my journey to drink one gallon of water every single day for the next seven days. Yay. The challenge is officially starting today. We have day number one. It is currently Wednesday. So I'll be finishing this challenge Tuesday night next week. This is going to be my first water bottle. So I was doing a little bit of calculating and it looks like I need to drink about eight water bottles a day. Just under eight water bottles a day. So I'm just going to do eight because I'm already doing this. I might as well go all out. So eight water bottles every single day is one gallon of water. Dude, I'm gonna be peeing 24 seven. Okay, so a few hours have passed. If I'm talking because I got a lisp, I got my lip all cut up, so it hurts like a mofo. Anyways, if I'm talking weird, that's why. Now drinking four water bottles. Drinking, drink four water bottles in the tummy. This is gonna be number four finishing up here. Don't worry, I'm not only drinking these little water bottles right here. I don't wanna be filled with microplastics by the end of this challenge. I'm not only drinking these. So I'm not, for some reason, this is just all I've been showing. I've peed already two times, which is awesome. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt always having to get up to go pee literally nonstop. But you know what? It's worth it. I actually figured really quickly, I'm just gonna do a little like a little skin complexion update at the very beginning and the end i just barely started so it shouldn't matter too much uh this is how i look right now very flattering i got a few pimples which i don't expect to go away they're already here i think this is something that in the long run would possibly make a difference so i guess you'll have to see in the next few videos if i'm looking like a stud muffin or not Okay, we're getting close to being all wrapped up here on day one. Almost done for the day. This is the last water bottle we got here. Um, I am dying. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, but a lot of people have been DMing me on Instagram recently. I love when people DM me and like ask for help with certain questions and stuff like that, just so I can help make everyone better while I'm at it because that's genuinely what I like doing. Um, but some people have been asking me how to improve their discipline. And I feel like it's a very hard thing. This doesn't really have much to do with this video specifically, but in general, I think it's a great thing. And it's kind of the only thing that gets me through all of these challenges is just having discipline. And it's the reason I like to do it because by doing little challenges like this, it increases my discipline because I'm doing hard things that I don't want to do. So discipline comes by doing hard things that you don't want to do, but a lot of people don't do the hard thing and still expect to have discipline, which isn't how it works. You have to be disciplined in all aspects of your life in order to be disciplined in the aspects that you want to be disciplined in. So if you want to get better at working out or make a lot of money, you have to be disciplined in all aspects of your life, like doing little challenges like this or doing what you say you're going to do or doing the hard thing, having courage when you don't want to do it. Literally stuff like that all adds up to compile into having discipline as an individual rather than having discipline in different activities. Discipline is you. With that being said, final water bottle of the night. I did it before sundown because I don't want to be up peeing the entire night. So this is going to be last water bottle I cut off the rest of the night. I should have counted how many times I peed. Tomorrow, I'm going to count how many times I peed during the day. I guarantee it's going to be like nine times, nine pees. Anyways. Disgusting water at this point tastes like trash. I might have to start adding in some flavoring. The worse the better, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's day number one, ladies and gentlemen, complete. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's another beautiful day. Let's go. Um, I just woke up, like I actually woke up like an hour ago. I didn't just wake up, I just forgot to film. I've got one water bottle in my system so far. I got up and peed in the night like three times last night. So that's not good because my sleep is gonna be trash during this challenge. And I love having some good sleep. I gotta figure that out. I might need to start cutting off my water intake earlier, which means I gotta drink a whole lot more water. But I'm, I woke up feeling pretty good. I can't complain. Um, I'm just gonna drink as much water bottles as possible today, as fast as possible. Get it all in my system. One thing I'm hoping is that a little bit more personal information here. I get canker sores. I don't know if you guys know what those are. They're these little like sores in your mouth. I get those like a mo. I get those 24 7 I always have since I was a freaking child like huge I'm like this big in my mouth and it just makes it impossible to eat and stuff so anytime I get like cut in my mouth or anything like that or sometimes they're just 
freaking spawn randomly, but they turn into these huge canker sores and I have them for like a few weeks. So what I'm very curious to see since I did get a few cuts in my mouth, if drinking this water is gonna help, it's like perfect timing on the experiment. So I'll be very curious to see if it does anything. And if it does, I'm literally doing this for the rest of my life. I'm not even kidding. So I'm just cranking out my workout right now. It is around 6 p.m. and I'm done with my water for the day, thank freaking goodness. But I was just looking back over the benefits to see like, am I feeling any of these? Or is this like cap or what's going on right now? So improved digestion, lower bloating. I don't freaking notice crap with that. I mean, I never really have too much bloating, but like I could push my stomach out to make it bloat, you know what I'm saying? But no, like crazy bloating. But improved energy, I low-key do feel a little bit. The hard part with these is it could be very much placebo, but I'm low-key feeling a little bit of energy boost. I might just be having a good day today, but since I didn't get great sleep last night, and I'm feeling decent today, it might be a sign, my boy. I'm getting ready for bed here, and I come to you guys with some numbers. So far, from between when I woke up to falling asleep, I took a grand total. Eight peas. But they weren't just any peas. A lot of them were really long, <laughs> really, really voluminous. It might be a world record for me. Lance, let us know how much average person pees per day on screen. But there's no way it's eight times because holy frig, I felt like I was in the bathroom all day long. Oh, well, hopefully I don't get any more during the night. I probably will. I definitely will. What the freak, bro? There's a squirrel outside my room. Holy, this is the closest up I've ever seen a squirrel in my entire life. Look at this. Dude, I'm like a squirrel whisperer. Since I'm doing this, I'm genuinely freaking curious if this is something people do on a daily basis. Like every single day of their life, they drink this much water. Because there's just no way. Because I'm drinking and peeing my entire life. I'll start working. Literally 15 minutes later, I'm pissing. There's no way people can do this and get good work done or do anything without being like, oh, frick, I gotta pee. You know what I'm saying? There's just no way. Since I'm at the point now where I've been doing YouTube like my entire life, it feels like I've literally been doing it for like seven or eight years now. It's very hard to come up with new video ideas and make them entertaining and different. So what I want you guys to do, I'm always trying to figure out like, what do people want to see, blah, blah, blah. I want every single one of you to go in the comments right now and tell me one video or the type of video or style of video that you guys like to see. That way I can try to incorporate them into the channel. I know a lot of people like vlogs, they're very time consuming. I don't have too much time in the day, but I do have a few very fun vlogs coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. But I just love this kind of self-help content style video. I love doing it for myself because I like improving my life in many different ways and testing out different strategies to see if they actually work. That way I can relay that to you guys without being biased in any way. So if you like this kind of stuff as well, I'm kind of trying to figure out a way to incorporate the two of them. Let me know down in the comments what kind of stuff you'd like to see or any recommendations or anything you'd all you guys want because I really do appreciate it. But I appreciate your guys' support more than you will ever know. I hope you know that. All right, so I'm coming on to the final day of this challenge. This is a new spot. I've never been here before. Look at this freaking cow picture. My mom, this is her favorite picture in the entire world. She's freaking obsessed with this cow. It's a huge cow picture. Hold on, let me freaking show you this, bruh. And these antlers, it's like I'm a freaking cowboy. Like it's a freaking huge picture, bruh. We have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Update on the canker sore that I was telling you guys about. Did not get any better. It got worse, so kind of figured it wouldn't help. <laughs> Which sucks balls. Anyways, um, challenge. Final day is here. It's really hard to make drinking water entertaining, so I'm just kind of telling you guys the highlights of it, the benefits that I'm getting, blah, blah, blah. I've been taking pretty good dookies, so the water's probably helping with that, so I guess that kind of goes hand in hand with digestion. It's probably really good for my gut health overall, which I'm gonna take 10 times out of 10. Holy frick, that's a huge bird. I lost my train of thought. That literally just took it out of me. But yeah, it's the final day. I will see you guys at the end of the day with an update on the challenge and how I felt. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. So here is the skin update. I literally feel like it looks the exact same. Mm, mm, mm. It could be lighting too, because I'm filming this at a different time of day. I got no idea, bro. Anyways, 
A challenge was a success. Um, I literally just peed a lot. That's really the only benefit I noticed. I got a little bit of energy boost. Could be placebo, could be because it's getting warmer outside. It's really hard to know. Out of everything that there is though, out of all these challenges I've tried, out of everything I've done, would I recommend this most out of everything? Probably not. But I do think people need to be drinking more water just for their overall health because it's very important. A gallon, I don't know if you need to do a gallon. Seems a little bit excessive for me, but that's up to you at the end of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you watching once again. I'll see you next week. Peace.